Yo guys, what is good? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market and thank you guys for the support on the video yesterday. I'm going to be making a very similar video to yesterday's video on Sunday, um, which is tomorrow because there are some other things that I would like to discuss uh, regarding EA and some of the decisions they've made recently that I feel like should be spoken out about. But today I'm bringing you guys a Saturday upload uh, talking about player of the year. Now this has been a video that a lot of you guys asked me to make, but I'm not making this video to hype up any investments. I'm not making any this video for that reason. I'm making this video uh, so you guys can understand what player of the year is, what is going to happen with it, when it's going to come out. I wanted to wait until this last player of the month came out, uh, which just happened today or yesterday. I wanted to make sure that this came out and then we could discuss player of the year. If you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up, man. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys feel like is going to win player of the year. Um, and let's get into it. So before we talk about anything regarding player of the year, I would like to talk to you guys about the, the event itself. Now, what it is, is, uh, at the end of every year, what EA does, well, last year, this is what they did. Um, PFA does an award ceremony. I believe the awards, uh, is in, let me pull it up for you guys right now. Um, the award ceremony is, uh, I think it's in like two weeks from now. I think it's announced. It's announced somewhere from April 20 to April 30. I'll keep you guys in the loop when that when that is announced. They're announcing today a lot of the candidates, I believe. Um, so that's being announced today. Last year, Salah won Player of the Year and Sané won Young Player of the Year. Now, last year, statistically, uh, Sterling had a better year than Sané, but Sané got the Young Player of the Year because I assume it's a group of voters. There's no community vote, so it's a group of voters, guys, who vote on this stuff. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because... EA brings out an SPC for Player of the Year. Now, we're also going to be talking about League Unplayer of the Year because there's also a League Unplayer of the Year. And this year, there might even be a Bundesliga Player of the Year. I think there might be because EA got the licensing uh, with Bundesliga this year. So we may be seeing three Player of the Years this year um, for foot, which is really, really cool. But I wanted to talk for you guys in the future about what could be required and what couldn't be required. So before we get into it, right, I think a lot of people want me to go on this video today and say, hey, Nick you know, talk about the informs of the players. So let's get this straight right now. Okay. We've basically got two different candidates for player of the year and young player of the year, uh, for the premier league. Okay. For me, Sterling has already won the young player of the year with Sterling's year, what he's done this year with his contributions, with how Man City's playing. There's not a player that comes close to Raheem for young player of the year. I would say maybe Arnold, but they're really going to look at goal contributions and, and, and goal scorers in that category of things. And, and because he's so much higher in that category, for me, Sterling wins young player of the year this year. So that one's already wrapped up. Now we've got player of the year, which comes down to Van Dyke or Sterling to me. Um, I don't think Ster I don't know if Sterling's going to take both trophies. What I was going to say to you guys is like projection wise, if Liverpool wins the league, I think Van Dyke will probably win player of the year. Um, Salah won player of the year last year, even though Kevin De Bruyne was favorited. And I thought Salah would win player of the year because Salah's season last year was crazy. And I don't think Van Dyke has had that season. So I think for Van Dyke to win player of the year, it's going to take him to really, really perform well uh, and have his team win the league this year, which is possible, right? They're, I think they're first with a game in hand right now. Um, also, guys, a lot of people always say, Nick, does the Champions League matter? It doesn't matter, and the votes are already submitted, but I'll tell you this, guys. If somebody's performing well in the Champions League, it only helps because it's the the voters, their eyes, their eyes, what they're watching throughout the year. So that only helps. Now, let's talk about something real quick because, guys, look, EA have not required an inform or a special or a gold of the specific player who's an award winner literally since, like, Aubameyang, and before that, not really ever. So... They're not doing that this year. EA is really trying to not make investors money. So what they're doing is they're doing a bunch of squads that are like 83, 84, 85 rated. And they're really spacing it out in that regard. So to me, for player of the year this year, this may be the first year where there's not a special requirement. And for the reason of that, I believe Sterling's only had one player of the month and Van Dyke has only had uh, one player of the month. Now, Van Dyke has a ton of specials. So I'll tell you this. If Van Dyke wins, there's a big shot that maybe his special cards are required. They're not that inflated right now. I wouldn't invest in them, guys. It's just not worth the time this year investing. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what the SBC could look like and what the SBCs looked like last year. Because last year, I made a lot of coins on this stuff. So I want to share that information with you guys and talk about that stuff. So last year, if we head over to Foothead, who actually has a really organized you know, SBC section for us that we can look at, um, this is Sané's Young Player of the Year card. So as you guys can see, right, pretty crazy cards. Um, that's a really, really insane card. And that's how much they juice these cards. So you can see, exchange one of Sané's special items, 
right? Exactly one player is from Germany and Man City, non-rare pistol rare players. And what they do is they make a chemistry requirement. So because there's a chemistry requirement, you can't get away with submitting a guy like Gundawan. You need to put in a special card of Leroy Sané. So that's how that works last year. So because Sané won, what you guys can expect to see is on the announcement, maybe a little bit of a rise in these special cards, but especially when the person who gets awarded at the ceremony, what will happen in my opinion is their special cards will go up on foot a lot. Make sure you guys sell those into the hype. Like I would not hold on to those. You guys can take the risk if you want, but I would never hold on to a card um, like that. Now that was for uh, young player of the year. If you guys look at player of the year last year, this is Salah. Now Salah was like 1 million coins last year. Sané was like 500. Um, so exactly one player is from Egypt and Liverpool, non-rare plus rare players, zero number of players in the squad, one. So you have to submit a Salah and then you get packs, but the rest of it is like 85 rated Liverpool or 82 rated Liverpool, um, 83 rated Liverpool, and then uh, 84 rated Liverpool. So they do do a lot of these other squads. And what I could see this year is EH is doing like 85, 86, 87, kind of like the way they've been doing the moments, not really requiring too many icons and just requiring a lot of squads. I could see that happening this year in, in the way that EA runs things. Um, so that's how they did it for those. So I would say like these came out in the end of April. They'll probably come out at the end of April again this year. What I will have you guys do for this event and, and to get prepared and things like that, probably have you guys club stock your clubs with Premier League golds. That's what I will probably have you guys do. Right now, golds are at like a sky high value. What I would say if you're trying to make some quick coins before team of the season, in a week or two when we get the gold market dying down just a bit, I'm going to have a lot of you guys stock your clubs with like 83, 80, 45, 86, 87 golds, center backs, guys with good nationalities, maybe even some extra players from City. If they end up rising a lot in the hype, boom, right? You can sell them in the hype. You can buy back when the SPCs come out and if they're not required. And if they're not that much, you can take the risk. That's stuff that you can always take the risk on because golds always hold a little bit more of a value um, over time as they are needed for SPCs. And then if you guys go and look last year, my big win last year was the uh, was the player of the year for um, for the uh, for the league on. Now, Mbappe got this card last year, and for Mbappe's card, uh, you did not actually need to submit an Mbappe, um, I believe you didn't need to submit an Mbappe uh, special card. So, that was Mbappe last year, and I don't think I don't think you actually had to submit those, and I think that I think that Mbappe specials got killed, I remember that, because people wanted to upgrade, and that what happened was Neymar actually did, uh, Neymar required a special, let me pull up Neymar's, because last year, this was my biggest trade of last year. I picked up right when Neymar won because I thought there's no way that EA, I was like, there's only one way that EA is going to be able to price point this SBC and they have to require Neymar. So I bought like a bunch of Neymars at 300K and I sold them all at 700. So that's what I made a big win on last year. I also made it like a 2 million win on Sané uh, because Sané unexpectedly won. Sterling was a little bit more expected. So Sané, when he was required, those all went up accordingly. So that did really well. So you need one player from Brazil uh, or PSG, zero non rare plus rare players, three chemistry. So that. That's what happened with Neymar last year. So Neymar did go up a lot. And then you see, you've got a lot of other squads that come out with it, right? 84. But keep in mind, guys, Neymar's SPC was 1.2 mil, 1.3 mil. So that's why the market really naturally corrects itself around this time of the year. Because you see prices like that, guys. Um, and they, they, they naturally have to correct the market because of the price of the SPC. Because if Neymar is that obtainable at that value. And that's why you see the market always correcting itself just a bit around this time of the year, guys. Because, right, it's it's... It's ridiculous how cheap that is. Now, if you guys go look last year, right? Like if we go look at players on FIFA 18, shout out to Flippin. Uh, they always have everything here. I might have to turn off my ad blocker. Um, but if you look at Sané, let's pull up Sané. Okay, thank you so much. Let me let me search Leroy. Does Leroy work? Okay, thank you so much, Flippin. We appreciate you, Flippin. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, let's try to find his team of the season uh, on here. Let's go 93 rated. And I want to, because I want to show you guys right now uh, a little bit of what happens with this card. Now, where is Leroy Sané? I got to find Sané. I'm going to be very upset if I can't find this. All right, Leroy Sané, right? So thank you for the ad blocker flipping. We appreciate you. Um, all right, so look at this, guys. Check this out. So this is what happened around player of the year last year. So this is when it was announced, right? He goes from 180 to about two, 250. But in the hype, he was like 320. So that's something that you can't see on this graph. But in the actual hype, the guy goes up to like 300K. Which is ridiculous, right? It's so expensive for that card. Um, and, and that's where you see a really, really big growth uh, on that card. If you guys look at Neymar, this was the card that I had last year. It was mainly this card. I had this card. I had a lot of this card that I picked up. Um, and I bought him, like, I think I bought him at like 400. Right here, right? He was at an all-time low. That's kind of why I invested in him. He was like at an all-time low and then he was required for the SBC. He got up to 800K. That was probably one of my biggest 
margins of win last year that I've ever had in my life. Um, he got up to 800K. So you're also going to have this for League Gun guys. Um, for League Gun Player of the Year, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking that Mbappe is going to obviously win the Young Player of the Year. I don't know what's going to happen for the Player of the Year. League Guns, uh, as you guys can see, uh, League Guns uh, SBC is always a little bit later after the Premier League as well. I'll probably make like a little bit of a separate video. It's in the end of May. Um, so League Guns is a little bit different. Now, let's talk about some differences that I see with this year's Player of the Year for the Premier League. I believe that this year's Player of the Year will come a lot earlier than Team of the Season. Like last year, when EA dropped the Player of the Year for the Premier League, right? It came right around Team of the Season. So a lot of people were like tempted to not do it, which I understand. I get it. But I think that this year, guys, it's going to be a little bit different. I think that people are going to want to do it. So there is going to be a little bit of a higher demand on this year's SBC in my eyes. Um, so it's good if you're an investor, if you're a guy who has a lot of golds and things like that, you probably may see a little bit more success in your investing for that reason, because there's a little bit more demand uh, around the fact, right, that it's a little farther from team of the season. So that is going to do better for a lot of the people uh, that are invested in that kind of card in the long run. So yeah, I mean, guys, look, I will have you guys stock your club. Um, that's basically how we will go about it. I will have every one of you guys stock your club, uh, you know, with stuff like that. I don't really see EA like doing any crazy requirement of once the watches and things like that. So for me, I've got to take, this is also a really good time right now, guys. If you're, if you have any like outstanding losses or just things like that, like I have these from once the watch man and I'm never going to, I'm never going to use these. What I will do with you guys in one of my market watch videos in the next few weeks, when we feel like golds are at a certain level that they're kind of just a little bit more dead. I think what we'll do is I'll mass, I'll like, I'll mass have you guys go pick up some golds for your club and things like that. And we'll figure it out from there. I'm just telling you guys right now. I'm not really that big of like a supporter this year uh, on the idea or the premise that I want like all you guys to go ahead and like, you know, stock your club with the informs of the players, right? If you're interested in that kind of thing, good, but I'm not going to sit here and hype up like informs and things like that and tell you guys like, oh, this is guys a buy, you know, or this guy is going to go up for the SPC because I'm telling you guys right now, this year, I genuinely don't believe that EA is going to require them. I think maybe outside of Van Dyke, I think Van Dyke might have a requirement. I'm not really sure if I see it this year, guys. Van Dyke could have a requirement, in my opinion, because of the amount of special cards he has. He's got a birthday. He's got a lot of center back cards. So, like, for me, when I look at it, I see a lot of potential with EA to require Van Dyke. But Sterling, even though it's Sterling with three informs, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. I could be wrong, guys, but I want you guys to be safe, and that's the, that's the thing, right? So you've got all these Van Dyke specials. And to be honest, guys, these are starting to be a little bit invested, and in. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it around. People are starting to pick up these cards. Um, one thing that I would tell you guys to be careful with is Sterling and Van Dyke's live cards. Just be careful if you guys are owners of those cards because you may run into the problem. Um, this is a problem, right? If they, if they get the player of the year, you might see those versions of the card deplete a little bit in value, guys, because you're going to have a player of the year card that's most likely a little bit around the price of this card, right? Like 900K and close to the team of, team of the year that's about 1-4. Same with the team of the year. The team of the year could drop a bit too because there will be a sell-off. Of people going from those cards to the other cards uh, as you guys could assume so thank you guys for watching the video today i just wanted to make a video talking about player of the year it's been highly requested a lot of you guys are asking me about this video so i wanted to get it up for you guys um thank you to everybody supporting the video today i love you guys man and i'll see you guys in some uploads very soon peace out